All right, this is it. It's a 94 Chevy, one ton dually. It's not the HD version, the eight lug. The wheels are the Grumman 19 and a half inch model. Uh, wheels off of, I guess, a bread van or a P32. It's a Silver Series Detroit. It's uh, got the old N Series valve cover for clearance. Four inch exhaust. It's an RC engine, got the uh, supercharger on this side, I believe anyways, could be wrong. One of the two heat exchangers. There's a second one, and there's also a zero start down there to uh, really warm it up. Uh, intake is pretty much off of uh, the application the engine came out of. It was out of an Ottawa, a yard, yard donkey, whatever you wanna call it. Couldn't find the low profile intake water neck stuff so I ended up just making it out of a uh, tubing and uh, you know just whatever mm. kind of hard to tell but the starter is right down there very close that's actually what's stopping it from dropping any lower if I had a uh, something smaller than a number two flywheel housing it probably would have fit a little better but this is just what I had and this is what worked Fairly good clearance behind the governor to get the governor's spring out. And again, the engine is uh, near the lowest part here. You can see the uh, any sway bar had to be dropped to clearance, just the pan itself. You can kind of get a glimpse of the uh, framework that's attached to that green bar that's in the pictures. And that goes back to the factory cross member. Would like to get it under the hood, but again, it wasn't uh, an option with the equipment I had. it up a bit to bring the alternator field up other than that it's pretty much a standard pickup truck it just does what you tell it to the transmission's a bit of a pain but it's got a lot of manual control now so you can actually get it to do what you want all right guys make another video for you later